Hey guys, welcome or welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Katie. I am the owner and artist behind Salvaged by K. Scott. I make my living right here out of my home, painting and restyling found and thrifted furniture pieces that are worn out or just plain outdated and bringing them right back to life. In last week's video, I brought you guys along with me as I went thrifting for furniture to flip. And in this week's video, I'm gonna be making over the first of two mid-century modern style dressers that I picked up on that trip. But before we get into that makeover process, I wanna take a moment to send a huge shout out and thank you to Zebra Painting for sponsoring this video. Zebra creates some of my absolute favorite paintbrushes. They have a great lineup of application specific brushes that are really high quality and an affordable price point. They've also recently put together these adorable little brush kits that come with different paintbrush collections in a great little canvas tote. And a really cool new tool that they've just added to their website is this brush finder feature. It helps you find the perfect brush for your project. Today I'm painting a dresser and the brush finder recommended the two inch chiseled wedge. So that's the brush I'll be using today. Let's take a little closer look at the dresser that I'm going to be painting today. It's got some really classic, clean, mid-century modern style lines and details that I am completely in love with. As always, the first step in this flip is gonna be a really thorough cleaning. I started by pulling out all the drawers and removing all the hardware. To scrub this guy down, I'm gonna be using some Natura Safe Prep. I picked this up at my local home hardware store. It is a great TSP alternative. The next step in getting this guy ready for paint is to sand. I started off with a medium grit foam abrasive on my surf prep sander to remove the manufacturer's brown painted finish from the poles. My original plan was just to scuff sand these laminate drawers. But once I started sanding, I quickly realized that the drawer fronts of this are actually solid wood. Once I got all of this laminate sticker sanded off the solid wood drawer fronts, I completely changed my design plan for this piece. I was going to paint the whole thing solid with bare poles and bare wood legs, but once I found these drawers, I just couldn't bring myself to paint over them. To strip sand these, I started with a 100 grit sandpaper and then I went over them again with a 120 grit and then a 180 grit to smooth everything out. The body of this dresser is not solid wood. I can tell that by taking a quick peek at the back. You can see here there's a solid wood frame with a thin sheet of MDF and then a laminate wood sticker over top. So to prep the body, I'm just going to give it a really good scuff sanding with some 220 grit sandpaper so that my paint has a little bit of texture to hang on to. So I know I usually prime my pieces before I paint them, but on this one, I think I'm going to skip it. I have full confidence that my paint will adhere well to this scuff sanded laminate, and I don't have any filled or repaired areas that need evening out. So I'm skipping primer and going straight to paint. 
I am going to be using this house and canvas chalk finish furniture paint in the color Cityscape. I want to start out by giving my paint a really thorough mix up and get all the pigments evenly distributed. And then I poured a little bit of my paint into a separate container so that I can brush from there without contaminating the whole can. I like to brush my chalk paint with a slightly damp brush. So you can see here, I'm just misting my two inch zebra chiseled wedge with a little bit of water just to help the paint glide a little smoother over the surface. And for the smaller details on the front of this piece, I switched to my zebra square brush. It just fits in all these tight spaces so perfectly. House and Canvas is a self-leveling paint, so as it dries, all of the brush strokes magically disappear. I just popped my brushes into a zip top bag and closed up my paint while I waited for that first coat of paint to dry. While my paint was drying, I decided that the drawer fronts needed just a little bit of stain. I started with a Varathene wood conditioner. This is a pre-treatment for stained wood that helps the stain absorb a little more evenly across the surface. I wiped it on with a clean lint-free rag about 30 minutes before I was ready to stain. Once the pre-stained wood conditioner was dry, I came in with some of this Varathane sun-bleached wood stain, rubbed it over the drawer surfaces, and then wiped back any excess with a clean part of my rag. All of the products that I'm using for this makeover will be listed in the description box below. Once I had the drawers all stained, it was time to apply my second coat of paint. I let my second coat of paint dry really well through the day and then came back just before bed with some House in Canvas clear wax and their wax brush to seal everything up. This wax is super easy to use. I applied it one section at a time using the House in Canvas wax brush, applying it in small circular motions.
Once you have your wax applied to each section, you need to go back with a clean lint-free rag and wipe back any excess wax. I started this process with one of the kids' old mismatched socks, which was not lint-free. After I got this smoothed out, I noticed there were tiny black sock fuzzies all up in my wax, so I quickly grabbed a lint-free rag that I knew was lint-free and wiped it down again and was able to get all of those little sock fuzzies out of my finish. I went ahead and applied the wax to the drawer fronts as well. This just richened up those wood tones again and I'm really happy with the color that I ended up with. I did also paint all of the poles off camera. So now it's just time to put everything back together. Let's take one more look at what this dresser started out as and then I'll show you what it looks like now. You guys know me i am a less is more keep it simple kind of girl with my furniture right now and i absolutely adore how this piece turned out thank you again to zebra for sponsoring today's video if you guys would like to get your hands on a zebra paintbrush to try out for yourself i highly recommend heading over to enjoyzebra.com and you can use code kscott10 to save 10 percent on your orders this week only I also wanted to mention that we just passed 55,000 subscribers here on this channel. I am so insanely grateful to each and every one of you. And if you're not already subscribed, make sure that you do that before you go. And I will catch you guys next time.